All right, welcome. I want to talk about container size. First, let me talk about uh, an observation that I see in our culturing station that, that I want to point out. And I just did a video about what snails do to a Daphnia culture. Um, you know, that we set this one up less than two weeks ago. This one here, I set up about a month ago. And the difference is snails and s no snails. So I sell various cultures to my customers, but I usually send them in small containers that are cycled, right? So really what you're looking at is a Daphne culture with no snails and a culture with snails. This culture was just recently started and obviously it's, it's pretty sound and it's, it's there, right? This one took much longer. This one I would just, I would say just really fully cycled. And you know, the difference with the snails and no snails is uh, the smaller one, relies more on the biome to uh, decompose the food that's in there and Daphnia poop and dead Daphnia, right? So, you know, in this culture, the snails, anytime I drop some food in there, they just consume it and turns into poop, right? But that poop is uh, rich in the things that Daphnia consume. So, um, snails, no snails, just, with snails, your culture will cycle much faster. And I hate to say that it cycles because I really don't consider a, an aquarium or anything cycled until like the snail population has boomed, boomed, boom. So where the, the, the snail population has boomed and died back and then recovered a little bit and found its happy medium, that's really cycled to me. So I don't know if I'd call this cycled, but it's pretty stable. And that's really what snails do. They'll bring some stability. This one too, I, I, I don't even want to say this is less stable. Just takes me a little longer to cycle it. So like I said, this has been going a month. I've been feeding it twice a week. The piece of fruit or vegetable, just the size of a grain of rice or two. Um, and I've been doing that the last month and um, this culture is probably going to go back to my other shelf and, and I'll ship it to a customer. Um, you know, and the reason for that is then, you know, the customer then can just put this under a light and they have a, have their own little culture and, and then you can take starts from it to start your own culture. All right. The reason for this video though is container size. Like, like what can you put a Daphnia culture in, you know, like, and I'll tell you this container size does not really matter. Um, folks think you need a big culture to keep it stable. I would say this is just as stable as a large culture. It's just, uh, anyway, you can culture in just about anything. And actually the best example, I had something like this that never got shipped to a customer, got a little t more organic than I'd like. So what I did is I put this, I put it somewhere on a shelf in my garage and left it there. And a year later I looked at it and I believe I added a little water due to evaporation, but one year later it was still fine. Um, and it's just because it's, it was so organic rich that there was a, enough of a biome that it just sustained a small Daphnia population for um, over a year. And, you know, it only had like a dozen Daphnia in it and a couple babies, but that uh, just goes to show how stable even a little culture is. The only difference between a little culture and a big culture is just uh, portioning, right? Like on something like, like these, you would only feed a Like the, I got a, some food in here already, but it's a little too big. I'm just trying to speed that cycling up. But you know, just in something like this, just uh, a piece of food the size of a grain of rice twice a week would more than suffice. Once a week, 
right? So I would say this. This is, well, let me show you this one first. That is just a milk jug with the very top cut off. I just like these. And <clears throat> this is what really got me into small container culturing. Because what I would do is, you know that space under your aquarium, you know, in the cabinet? I would put a Daphne culture or two in a gallon jug and just set it under there. It wouldn't even have aeration. And uh, when it had enough Daphne in it, so about every week, I would take uh, the container out, pour most of it into the aquarium, right? Leaving the mulm and stuff, because that's all really nice stuff but I would just pour off some water and Daphne and then fill it back up with aquarium water and that aquarium water is rich in micro uh, organisms so it would feed the Daphne so I really wouldn't even have to feed these cultures and what was really cool I learned something I learned that I could heat my aquariums with lights from underneath so Every aquarium that I own, not one of them has a heater in it. They're all heated by a light underneath the aquarium. So this uh, culture station you see, the light, it sits between, it's, it's actually uh, resting between a gap in the boards above it because there's a fish tank on it. And here, I'll show you. See that light strip? There's an aquarium above it. And that's how I heat all my aquariums. And I did that just by from culturing Daphnia. Because like I said, I would put a uh, gallon milk jug or two underneath that had a light and that would heat the aquarium. And I would have Daphnia to feed my fish. Cool. So again, you know, and uh, honestly, if anybody wanted to bet against me on this. I bet you I could culture in something like this just as good as they could culture in the biggest of containers. I'd bet them anything I owned. It, there's really no difference. It's just portions, right? You're not going to have as many Daphnia to harvest, obviously, right? Um, but, uh, anyway, container size does not much matter and i'll tell you the smallest culture i've probably cultured in was a coffee cup and i'll tell you why because if you cultured if you keep daphnia you'll just end up with little containers like that you'd never you know just have a little water in them well if that water had came from a tank that had daphnia in it or you were whatever they'll 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 be in that coffee cup right so what i did is just every so often i would just drip in a little aquarium uh i would drip in i'm speaking too fast i would drip in water from my aquarium and um i totally forgot what i was talking about Oh, the coffee cup. Yeah. So I would just take a little aquarium water, throw in a little bit and live for weeks. Like you'll just find out how easy Daphne are and they're so easy. It is just easiest when you're starting out to start them in a small container, you know, something like this when you're starting with Daphne. I mean, you can have a half dozen of these, like it's not a big deal. Throw them under a light, right? So the, again, this is probably my favorite container for small container culturing it's just a gallon milk jug with the lid cut off it just doesn't tip you can sort of see through it but shoe boxes and just about anything work um i actually got some more of these vases so i figured um this uh playlist seems to have been well reviewed or seems to be enjoyed so i'm going to uh turn these into little cultures too and you know these two that you see on the end like i said i again i, I sell cultures so um this is how i just start them out so these are gonna have a uh some floating duckweed in it and um some of my radix snails and yeah so container culturing 
does not really matter what size container you culture Daphne in as long as the, your portion is, is the same. So again, it's something like this. You only need a, a piece of food. Let me use baby food for an example. So like pureed peas or carrots or anything. Sweet potato, sweet potato, Daphne. It's probably one of their favorites. You only need like a drop or two in a container of this size and that is not hard okay because people think oh it's going to be a challenge you know a drop or two of a uh, baby food and something like this is not challenging okay so container size doesn't matter i prefer the little cultures like i said i i started really with these small very small containers just by keeping things like this under my fish tank right put a little light on it a little fluorescent screw in bulb i could keep a few of these under a fish tank and it's all the food i needed right so there you go